Welcome back to another mind-blowing episode of Curious Kids. I'm your host, Edwin Hubble. Today, we are going to explore the biggest mystery of all, how the universe began. Have you ever wondered how everything around us came to be? Well, scientists have a theory called the Big Bang that explains it all. And we'll also find out what we call our very own galaxy. Let's dive into the wonders of space. Hey, Curious Kids. Welcome back to another mind-blowing episode of Curious Kids. Today, we're going to explore the biggest mystery of all, how the universe began. Have you ever wondered how everything around us came to be? Well, scientists have a theory called the Big Bang that explains it all. And we'll also find out what we call our very own galaxy. Let's dive into the wonders of space. Chapter 1. The Big Bang Theory The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted explanation for how the universe began. It all started about 13.8 billion years ago with a huge explosion. No, not like a bomb but more like an incredibly fast expansion. At that moment, all the matter and energy in the universe was packed into a tiny, hot and dense point. This point suddenly began to expand, and in a fraction of a second, the universe grew from the size of a tiny particle to something much, much larger. This expansion has continued ever since and it's still happening today. That's how the universe and everything in it, including stars, planets, and galaxies, came to be. Chapter 2. What happened after the Big Bang? After the initial explosion, the universe was incredibly hot, but as it expanded, it began to cool down. This cooling allowed particles to come together and form atoms, the building blocks of everything in the universe. Over millions of years these atoms grouped together to form stars and galaxies. One of the galaxies that formed was our very own Milky Way. It's amazing to think that everything we see today, from the stars in the night sky to the Earth we live on, started from that tiny, hot point billions of years ago. Chapter 3. What do we call our galaxy? Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. It's a spiral galaxy which means it has a flat, rotating disk with a bright center and spiral arms that stretch out like a pinwheel. The Milky Way is home to billions of stars, and our solar system is just one tiny part of it. From Earth, the Milky Way looks like a milky band of light stretching across the sky, hence the name. It's so vast that it would take light 100,000 years to travel from one side of the galaxy to the other. Chapter 4. The Expanding Universe one of the most incredible things about the Big Bang is that the universe is still expanding. Scientists have discovered that galaxies are moving away from each other, and the space between them is getting larger. This means the universe is getting bigger all the time. Even though the Big Bang happened billions of years ago, we can still see its effects today. The universe is always changing, and there's so much more to learn about its mysterious beginnings. The Big Bang Theory gives us a glimpse into how everything began, from the smallest particles to the vast galaxies that fill the universe. And our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one tiny part of this incredible cosmic story. So today we learned about the Big Bang Theory, how the universe began, what happened afterward, and the amazing Milky Way galaxy we live in. It's a big universe out there, and there's always more to discover. And now, for a galactic joke before we go, why did the star go to school? To get a little brighter, Thanks for watching, Curious Kids. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more cosmic science adventures. Stay curious and keep exploring. See you next time.